Okay, so I am going to try to show you how you can make a cone. I am terrible at drawing circles, so what I did, if you can see this, is I have a little hair elastic. I'm going to put that on my piece of paper. I'm going to hold my finger at one point of the hair elastic in the middle of the paper, and I'm going to put my finger on the other end. Now you can use a string of a certain length. Um, if you have a compass, that's even better, but if you don't, I'm just going to draw my circle, try to hold the paper still, and my finger in the middle still. There we go. So, whoops. Not beautiful, but not bad. Now at least I have something, if you can see that, that looks circular. So I'm going to cut it out, and I shall be back. Okay, I'm back. So I cut out my circle. Here it is. Not too bad. Now, if I want to make a cone, I am going to have to, I fold it, let's fold our circle in half, so we have a nice diameter, the line going all the way across the circle. Now, to make a cone, actually, let's fold it in half the other way as well, so we can see where the middle of our circle would be, here. Okay. Now you can see the center of your circle where your two folded lines cross. Now to make this cone, let's cut just to the center, so we're cutting along a radius here. Because now this will allow us to overlap our circle. And you can make any kind of cone you want really. If you overlap just a tiny bit, you're going to have a wide, a really wide short cone. The more you overlap, you'll see as you play with it, the taller your cone will be. So here, if I overlap big time, I have a kind of a tall looking cone. So figure out what kind of cone you like, wherever you're happy with it, I kind of like it to there. Take your pen, pencil, whichever, and draw a line to where it overlaps, because we're going to cut off the extra. So if I open this up, now this part is all the good part. I'm just going to put a little check mark here so I don't accidentally cut that. That's good and I want it all the way. That's good. Anything underneath there I'm not using for this cone. So if I open it up, I'm only using half a circle, okay. Okay, then I'm not going to cut it quite to there but I'm going to cut off. So this is the good part, this is the bad part. So let's just say I liked it to, let's say here was my line. I don't want it half a circle because that makes part of the next part too easy. So I'm going to cut that out and we'll say this is the part I'm left with. If I overlap him, my cone would look like this. This right here. So fairly tall cone. Again, there's no right or wrong cone to make, just what you like. I'm going to find some tape and tape this up and I will be back. Okay, so I found some tape. It was electrical tape, but that's okay. Taped it on the inside there. Here's my beautiful cone. Now, we're going to say, alright, how do we find the surface area? Just before we finish this though, my cone is open on the bottom. Let's say this is a cone. Sometimes there's a base of the cone. And if you can see, the base of the cone should be a familiar shape to you. A nice circle. So if you want to get another piece of paper, here's my first circle, not so good. Put your cone on the other piece of paper, trace the base of your cone, so we're going to use this for our net as well, cut out the base of your cone, and now we'll have the full surface area of what could either be considered a solid cone, we're going to have the surface area, or at least sort of a closed off from. Alright. So here's the base of my cone. So now I would have, if you can use your imagination a little bit, if that goes around there, I would have a solid cone. Okay, so here's our cone. Well, the base of it, we could find the area of it, if you remember how to find the area of a circle. At least that's a nice familiar shape. So, area of a circle, I'm just going to write on here, hopefully you remember, pi r squared.
I can find the area of that. So that piece I'm going to put to the side for now. This, okay, let's unfold it. We'll untape it here. And see what our shape looks like. Our shape looks like this. How in the world do we find the area of this crazy shape? That is a good question. Well, let's just think about that. So, I have a question for you. If this is our shape, we had our cone shape, we lay it flat. This is part of the net of our cone. How can we figure out this surface area? Any ideas? Say we were going to break this down into shapes that are maybe more familiar to us, more basic shapes. What kind of shapes might we be able to break this down into? And how could we use that information to maybe find the surface area of the shape? Now is a great time for you to experiment on your own. Go through these same steps, build your cone, and have a look at it. See what shapes you see, and then we'll talk about it on our class discussion board.